Welcome to another episode of a Saint Vincent Untold Stories. On this episode, we feature Jeremy Alexander, uh, better known as uh, Jerry Dean. Uh, big ups uh, to all of my subscribers. And if you are new to the channel, hit uh, the like button, the subscribe button, and hit uh, the bell icon if you wish uh, to see more videos like uh, this one. Uh, do you remember that I told you that in some areas in St. Vincent, when you see a man do one thing and a man come from that area, them say, yes, I, and they so bad man this year come from, and they so bad man that they come from. Because if you say Pals Avenue, they go say, at least so bad man from. If you say Atley Hall, they say, this so one bad man from. If you say Cyan Hill, they go also say, this so one bad man from. And I don't get confused. It is because certain things are going in them areas. Some of them areas are hot spot. If you say Glenn, you say this where your bad man come from too. Uh, please bear in mind that not everyone from these areas are bad men. They are some good Christian law-abiding citizens in these areas. But when you watch on the news, you would often see that some areas are hotter than some. Uh, one side of Jeremy's parent uh, came uh, from the Cyan Hill area and the other side came from the countryside. But you see, the man them born down a tongue side and the man them migrate and they move out of country by their moms. Uh, but uh, there is an old saying that says uh, that boys love their mothers more and girls uh, love their fathers more. So what did happen is that uh, the girl them did move down back uh, down, uh, to their father's side, down a Cyan Hill. But the boy them decided to say them go stay a country because them don't pick up little friends and thing and little neighbor and a little young boy around and thing that around uh, their age group uh, that they could be friends with. And uh, their mother was actually a nurse. So anytime their mother gone to work for long hours, they would often go out and play as long as they want. Uh, but you know how it goes in the ghettos. Uh, that uh, young uh, people like to experiment. So them say a day, one of the youth them come on the block with a puff puff in him hand. And them do so. And the thing light up the air with uh, the aroma. And all the boys decided, say, you know what? Me I go try the puff puff uh, too. And the man them try the puff puff and like it. And from there the man them start to use the puff puff. And uh, the man them not did an lazy youth. Uh, so them started to go a bush with some bigger man. And when them go a bush with the bigger man, them the bigger man, them and give the man them them own puff puff to bring home. Sometimes they pan the black your helico argument. Me do more work than you and you get more puff puff more than me. Me not go on him back. Uh, but one thing I could tell you, see, is that the man them did like cook. Uh, so no yard fall now me live part the man them live because the man them cook out all the yard fall them. Every minute I'm part of bile because the man them have so more friends. When the friends them come and them burn the puff puff, it's like the man them get hungry. So anything the man them meet up on a can and go in a pot uh, several times, a little argument as it escalate. Some resulted in a little lash back and thing. But as the man you always come back friends, uh, viewers and subscribers, if you have been paying attention, can you remember when we did uh, that episode about uh, Jean, a youth from country who was hit about uh, the body with a um, popo when uh, they alleged that he had a popo on him, but uh, the authorities could not find uh, the popo. That matter is still being investigated up to this uh, day. Well, uh, Jean was a friend of uh, Jeremy Alexander as well. He was a part of what you call a clique. Uh, you see, everybody have this thing uh, that you have to be a bad man to be a part of a clique. Or you have to be a bad man to be a part of a crew. It is not like uh, that. Not everybody in a crew is a bad man. Sometimes they have these celebrations around carnival time and uh, they say that they have crews. And uh, not everybody throws back a face, throws back a foot, no sir. Ah, uh, you see, uh, the man them did the wrong as uh, some bubble jed and thing. So the man them learn for cook and lick white all. So the man them did a cook and eat all day. And some man pass and say, yo, the white all is wicked, bad. Can I have some of the white all? The man them say, no, so we are talking about some of the white all. You don't know, see more than ten man lying up here. How why we give you a white all? But buy your own pong of rice and cook your white all, yeah, boy. You never bring nothing and you are sweet white all. But go from here. Uh, but you see, uh, during all this time, Mr. Alexander was learning about uh, the hustle. So the man them start to go a bush now, and the man them start to sell them little things on the side, and do them little hustle, the man them not trouble nobody. Them just a hustle, hustle, hustle. 
Uh, but you see, a trust was always a big issue among other members. Because you have a man who did a go and bush with them Bobo Jed and thing. And the Bobo Jed did dwell with him, right? He gave him fair share. He gave get some bucket of gold and thing. If you see the gold, them all them pretty. All the girls them walk the gold them. And the man them don't work so hard in the bush. And the man decide to say, you know what? A long time he not get no girl. Uh, you see, the man did give him a $5,000 as well. But he had a pretty girl from the area that did promise the man some doing. And the man offered the girl $5,000 flat. The girl say, yes, properly, I'll take that one time. So them go in our area, and the man do so, do so, and to hurry. And the girl just pull away the $5,000 and run with it. You know, here the day after the man come beat down the girl door and look for the girl. The girl said, no, sir, and I saw it work. And you should have performed for your $5,000. Uh, so, all right, they saw the man losing $5,000. So the youth um, absorbed that and them say, that not happened to me none tall in a life again. May I go Oslo and may I save my money. And may I go buy up uh, two houses and things and two properties up on the seaside and live like kingpin. Uh, but you see, on uh, the countryside, most men uh, don't have access uh, to the white stuff. They only have access uh, to the green one. And uh, you see, the green one uh, don't uh, generate uh, the profit uh, very fast as the white one. It had one time, a man did tell one of the youth uh, them for going out the field and pick two pineapple. Because the man did go jail and thing, and the man say youth, go in there and pick two pineapple. But the thing happened, the man walk with 20-something man. And you know, 20-something man now go out one pineapple, the man go out two. You see, the time the man come out, the whole band rake down, not even one pineapple. Uh, let me say like Oliver, you have barrage, uh, you have tea. Well, sip something now. You know, see the thing I get excited. Hold something and sip something. Uh, but uh, there's an old saying that says, boys would always be boys. So the man and father decided, say, you know what? We are going to bring me youth uh, them back down on the tongue side. And we are going to rent out a little house so up on the countryside. And make a little income come in said way, you know? One thing I can tell you about uh, the Alexander uh, brothers was that uh, they gave respect where respect was due and uh, they had a lot of manners. If you saw them in the street, they would shout you. Uh, time went on and uh, several times we met up uh, with uh, Jeremy and uh, Jeremy was always cool. He didn't show any bad face. He didn't move like any bad man. The man was just simple, hustling his way through life. You see, he was a bright lad as well, you know. And as I told you before, book a sense is not common sense. Street a sense is not a common sense. It is based on the choices that you make in life. You have to know when to say yes and when to say no. That is common sense. Because someone can have a university degree and a man on the street using the wider substance uh, can program them said way. Police are siren. Woo, 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 woo. And Carl coming. Say, youth, get on popo. And the youth gonna dove cut one time. Uh, viewers, I told you before what a dove cut means. The place of no return. It is alleged that a mass man run up on a man and do so. Plam, plam, plam. And do so time youth. And run back uh, towards a building. Uh, but lo and behold, what uh, they did not know. It was that a camera was attached uh, to that building. So that them see when the masked man run into the car and then pick up uh, the thing. Uh, so the man them tracked down the car and uh, the number plate. And uh, they said uh, that uh, they bucked up on uh, Mr. Alexander. Uh, so you mean me have to tell you how it go again? You know, I don't know how police operate. FBI and CID. You don't know them. I go tell the man, say, watch, we have a pan camera. Come, tell her we who send you one time. Oh, you see those wrong things in your pants? So put them in a jar. They will deal with them one time. So you need to speak up immediately. And if you don't speak up and you are found uh, guilty, then we'll meet you on a big yard. And you'll go get about 31 years wrong, yes, so boy. So, Mr. Alexander, tell us now. Who did it? Who sent you? What role did you play? Tell us urgently so we can take our something. We are giving you a plea deal. And if you talk now... Uh, then a couple of years would be shaved off of your sentence. Ran told stories, we are not sending anybody uh, to do anything uh, that is not right. But you see, what he got them on them caught was the vehicle, the number plate. 
a real youth when you know about uh, them things would have switched uh, that number plate. Uh, so, Mr. Alexander began to talk. Remember, he was not used uh, to that kind of situation, you know. So, Mr. Alexander said uh, that uh, they were in the car and uh, you would pass and a brethren say that uh, they got into an altercation from before. And the man them said, look at you, go march to the walks today, are you going to dove cut? So, the man decided to say, boy, I have to march the walks. Because come like me, no brethren who me the wrong, you know. Uh, so, uh, the man grabbed the popo, put on the ski mask and marched uh, the walks. And he thought uh, that everything was a okay. Uh, but you see, uh, the police are very smart. They did not uh, tell the youth who sent him to match the walks anything. They just played it safe. All the time, uh, the statement was in and they did not want anything to be tampered with. So they kept a low profile. They said nothing at all until uh, the court case came up. And then you heard uh, that Mr. Alexander spoke out. When uh, the sentences were handed down, some were saying that Mr. Alexander should have gotten more time. Uh, but uh, that's what I'm doing, you know. Once you cooperate with uh, the police and you do it all, then you would get less time. Uh, now, uh, Mr. Alexander found himself in a very sticky situation. As young people, we need uh, to watch what we do. We need uh, to know when to say no. And I told you what untold stories. Uh, back in my days, no boy could not have programmed me because I know what happened uh, between myself and friends. They influenced uh, me and got me into ve very serious problems. And I said to myself, I am not going back down that road anymore. A man want to do a thing, but go do your thing yourself. I always told myself that no boy now send me go match no works with zero income and plus me now no income for no works. If you say you're a bad man, do your thing yourself. You're not bad. Go out there and make a step. Why you need me for make a step? Three grand or five grand can't pay lawyer when me don't step. Who know you would need to think twice? And you see, this house a man stop. Then I run in at the big yard and the talk, I get back to untold stories and then I say, boy, untold stories, you've been a call up sort no man and sort no man name. You don't need to do them thing. You might interfere with the case, but the case done set. The only thing the man them could go forward with right now is appeal. And the witness was one of the defendants. Randall stories, we are sorry for these three ghetto youths. I know Jeremy Alexander very well. And I tell you that he can be rehabilitated. Uh, so much to lock up the man, the man throw away the key. But remember, no man is perfect. Uh, the Messiah came and he dwelled around. Uh, the sinners. And uh, there might be others are saying, Well, I'm told, if I did somebody for you, gone a dove cut, you might would have tell a different story. But as uh, untold stories, uh, the truth is uh, the truth. And we told uh, the story, like exactly how it is supposed to be told. With uh, that being said, I just want to big up the entire population in St. Vincent and uh, the Grenadines, the regional islands, and uh, the international countries who are supporting and praying for us. Uh, during these difficult times, while we are under extreme poverty, we thank you.